start this over. <laughs> that, that's so beautiful oh, and heartwarming. Okay. okay. I'm grateful to be 77. Thanks to God, you know. And, uh, yeah, he probably got a reason for me to live that long. But I, I just came out from being in castration, being locked up in prison more than 40 years old. Waking up today, having another day to walk around, talk, meet new people, um, have the ability to just try to provide a smile or a laugh today, uh, go around. That's why I do uh, what I do work-wise. That's, that's why I love to still communicate with my family and friends and all that. So. My name is Jacob Powell. Nice to meet you. What are you most grateful for and why? I'm most grateful. Uh, man, first to be alive every day, very fortunate to, to live this life and in Austin and for my family and for my lovely girlfriend and baby on the way. Yay! My name is Jessica. Me too! Hi Jessica! Nice to meet you! Nice to meet you too. Um, are you from Austin or are you visiting? Still, we live in San Antonio. We're visiting. It's my first time. This is your first time in Austin? Yeah. Okay, well welcome. What are you most grateful for and why? I'm most grateful for recently surviving a car accident driving to Portland. I had my kids and my dog in the car and somebody ran through an intersection that I was going about 45 in and I just barely had time to stop before. We, we hit a little bit but not to where the airbags off and wow. everybody was fine and instead of being scared and looking back at it I just keep thinking I'm so glad that we were all okay so yes. that's the main thing and then every day after that we're all healthy we're all still here that's good yes thank you for sharing that hi I'm Kelsey Kittleson are you from Austin or I'm not from Austin Phoenix Arizona I'm awesome I am most grateful for my five and a half year old son. Um, he's self explanatory. He's the most wonderful, healthy little boy ever. And he's the light of my life. Yay! <laughs> Love it. Thank, Thank you, you. I feel most grateful for my daughter because uh, ever since she came into my life, I've, I used to go out and, and I partied a lot. Uh, but she came into my life and I, I, I straightened up quite a bit and I've enjoyed every moment ever since. My name is Emily. I'm from Chapel Hill. You're visiting. We're visiting. We came to okay. take my niece's birthday. Awesome. Happy birthday. What am I most grateful for and why? Um, I'm going to have to say family. Like truthfully, like they're the ones that push me to do good every day. They're the ones that make that help push me to be me and to be great in the world. Awesome. <laughs> All right. I am grateful for my family. Well, happy birthday. Thank you. you. It's really nice to meet y'all. Danny, would you like to share what you're most grateful for? Oh, let's see here. I'm most grateful for, I don't know, uh, being able to do this, I think. I always want to do this. Put my life job 11 years ago. And, uh, I've been doing this ever since. Travel everywhere. Live the weather's nice. Stay alive. Austin. Oh, thank you. I'm grateful to be 77. Thanks to God, you know. And, uh, yeah, he probably got a reason for me to live that long. But I, I just came out from being in Castle Rachel, being locked up in prison more than 40 years ago. But he, he always stay alive. So I thank him for letting me letting me leave this home, maybe he got a reason. I was kind of like a different 
person, you know, in the pastor Mark on Chavez Street, Baptist Chapel, he helped me change my mind. I am most grateful for all the people in my life. Without them, my life would be nothing. And also, also my health and my body and being able to move my body and my all that. That's it. I love that. Uh, I am really grateful that I finally graduated from college. <laughs> um, I think it was really hard for me as a first generation. Um, my parents didn't really understand me um, during my college journey. I think they thought it was easy, but in reality, I had to worry about my finances and worrying about getting good grades. So I am grateful that it is finally over. So yay. Um, I think another thing that I've been thinking about lately is um, that I have a lot of people that I can rely on. Like I have a lot of mentors and I think that's something that I'm really, really grateful because I can go to them and ask them like, what do you think about the situation and, and just go based on what they experienced. People would treat each other with kindness and gratitude. Like, there's, I mean, yes, there's bad people, there's good people, but I think we treat everybody so horribly that everybody forgets that we should treat each other so with kindness and that the world would be a much better place, like, truthfully. Yes.